Hi, I'm going to show you how to use our Virgo materials list template. To begin with, let's start our materials tab here. Under items, this is where you would add the different item description or the item name. You can add a photo here. Then here from the drop down menu, you can choose the status of the item. If it's proposed, researched, ordered, on hand, running low, or out of stock. You can modify this by clicking the edit button here. You can change the color, change the name, add or remove any item. If you make any changes or modifications, make sure you always click on done, apply to all, and then the X next to data validation rules. Next, you choose or you add here the store or vendor of the item. Make sure that the name that you put here matches the name that you have here as well, next to store and vendors. Going back to materials, here under categories, you could choose from the drop down menu if it's miscellaneous, support structure, wall and floor, etc. You can modify this and add any items to your liking here. Once you've done that, make sure you always click on done, apply to all, and then X next to data validation rules. Next, you would add the unit price for that item and the quantity amount that you would order or that you have here. This will calculate the total price based on the quantity amount and the unit price. So if I make this to 10, it's going to change that to 500. And back to 50, so it can be the 2,500 as we have before. Then we have a space for notes at the end. This here you can add or you can put here the budget. This will calculate everything that you spent, the total price. And then here we'll calculate the remaining budget based on what you have originally placed here. So if your original budget is, let's say, $10,000, you would add that there. And then it's going to calculate the remaining budget for 1500 based on what we've already spent. So let's go on to the next tab, stores and vendors. Here is where you would add your stores and vendors company name. Make sure, again, if you make the change here or when you do add the name here, make sure that you update or make or put the same name here under store and vendor. And that's because this here will calculate the total price for that particular vendor. You would add an image for the store or vendor here. You would add their phone number and their email, their website, the items that you purchase or the items that you have from that vendor. And then you have a space for notes at the end. And that's how you would use our Virgo materials list template.